Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to discuss how using one flashlight you can take your image from looking like this to this. If you watch some of my previous videos, you know that I'm a great fan of flare photography. Uh, it's just a wonderful way to pass a few hours during the spring and summer months, you know. And obviously, as soon as you come into autumn, then you sort of can start taking autumn, your autumn detail shots. But yeah, spring and summer for me are the time when I generally come and do flower photography. Now, as much as I love the more traditional straight flower portraits, like I showed in last week's video, one thing I do particularly enjoy is shooting my images in a low key style. So that means basically a nice lit flower against the black backdrop. Now the problem is to achieve this most people think you have to take some sort of physical black backdrop out with you and set that up every time you take a shot which to be honest would be a bit of a faff and uh, not something I would be interested in doing for this. But there is a really simple way around it and that is simply by using a flash. So it doesn't have to be expensive, it just has to be some sort of flash gun with manual power. Now what you need is some way to trigger it off your camera. Here I'm just using a humble flash cord. A lot of flashes you can trigger wirelessly, but this one I'm literally just plugging a cord in on my camera, which is a Panasonic S5 of course, into my flash. Something of interest for fellow Panasonic users, you will find that a Canon extension flash cord fits your camera perfectly and works perfectly. And also if you're using a TTL flash, the cord will actually work perfectly for that. But you know, that's not something we're gonna worry about here because we're doing everything manual. So this is all you need. Camera, tripod, flash, cable. So really, how does this work? If we're not using a black backdrop, what are we actually going to do? Well, it's, it's a really simple technique. What we're gonna do is basically drastically expose, expose this image so much that everything's black and then we're going to paint in light with this all in one single shot. So how do we do that? Nice and simple. What we need to do is we need to set your camera into manual mode and we need to select a shutter speed which is your flash sync speed. On this is 250 for a second, on some cameras it's 200 for a second. So, but that's what we need to do. So. This is set to 250 for a second. And the next thing we need to do is set the ISO to the base ISO, which of course is ISO 100 on this. And then finally, it's a case of a nice F, high F number. Now a high F number achieves two things on this. What it does, it blocks out lots of light, which means we're going to get a nice black backdrop. But also, it means that we're maximizing our depth of field. So that's the camera side pretty much set up for this. Uh, one other thing you will note is I've got a nice clean amount of space behind my subject. Now you can work at closer distances and you can have stuff behind and it's just about the position of the flash to get rid of it, but far easier if you've got as much space as possible behind. Not essential, but just easier. So I'm just gonna take this shot, I'm gonna put my glasses on. So what we should get is a nice, clean, black backdrop. And there we have it, totally clean, nothing there at all. So the next step is to turn on the flash and select fairly low power. I've gone for 132 on this, that's normally about right. For this combination of 250 per second, ISO 100 and F22. And now, the camera's on self-timer, I'm going to take a shot, we're going to review it, and I'll put that shot up now so you can see what it looks like. And now, I'm going to take a few, it's at different angles. This bit's quite important because sometimes it's hard to know if you've got the right lighting. Now one thing to note, when I'm shooting this direction, obviously I'm going to start lighting up the backdrop behind. Hence, why having as much clearance behind is a good idea. Now you can sort of go like that. You know, feel free to get as creative 
as you want. And it's as simple as that. So all you need to remember is basically set your ISO at base, set your shutter speed to your sync speed for your flash, set your F number high, F20, F22. That should pretty much give you a black, pure black image. Check your histogram just to make sure. And then it's just a case of turning your flash on and introducing light. Now obviously what you could do if you really wanted to is you could carry some sort of further stands round and sort of set up a flash where you wanted it. But I personally quite like the, the experimental way of doing it, of just getting my flash and just taking a few shots going around the flower. Now what I would say is a cable release makes life a lot simpler because you can actually hold it out here and bring it round. You don't have to keep pressing the camera. Uh, that does make life simpler. The uh, only reason I haven't used one today is simply because I don't actually own one for the Panasonic S5. But apart from that, lovely simple technique. It works great for a variety of subjects, not just bluebells. I particularly enjoy it for snowdrops. Snowdrops look beautiful, this kind of technique. But it works for other things as well. And it's a lovely creative way of taking your flower photography to a slightly different level. I'm not necessarily saying better, just different. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you again next week for another video. Thanks for watching.